second vision of Jesus. New, very powerful vision. I see a realistic cross in wood in perspective plunging from the top. It is slightly inclined in relation to the horizontal and directed slightly to the left. Above, a crucified man. It looks a bit like a famous composition by Salvador Dali. I feel a very great emotional intensity. It is Jesus. Again, the next moment, I feel melted into him, be him. What does that mean? Am I him returned? This is what I feel when the phenomenon happens. But back in the everyday world, I find the idea absurd and I feel a feeling of crushing. If it was true, however, what an experience. This is the second time. Second divine vision. This time, the intensity grows, grows. The vacuity becomes more and more luminous. Suddenly, I feel a light and fuzzy hand coming down towards me. It pulls me up. I go up, go up through the dimensions and then come out on the other side, on the other side of death, and I see God. Another vision totally different from the first. I don't have the impression of a vision only, but of being there. It shows me what we really are, a part of the divine structure, the reason of life. I will describe it further. In any case, contrary to some traditions which say that the only goal to reach is the vacuity, sort of emptiness, from which springs ideas and concepts, which is incomprehensible, I affirm, because of what I have experienced, that it is only the level of consciousness that the human being can reach, more or less, hardly, by himself, and that there is something, someone, beyond this dimension. Impossible to reach on your own. You have to be called upon. In any case, it is not empty. It is even rather full. And does not correspond to any description written by the traditions. It's much closer to what science is discovering. I will explain it further. What I have seen, understood, and experienced is fabulous, beyond all the wildest dreams. It's a great hope, and I hope it's not a brain trick. The Labyrinth In May 1988, I arranged all the versions of the narrow corridor around the room used for demonstrations, laid on the ground, leaning on the walls. I've come up with 50 versions. It's madness. This obsession that has tortured me, this around me from all sides. I am desperately hoping by focusing to find a solution, a way out. It looks like a huge labyrinth with a multitude of corridors. Where will I get the thread of areas that will lead me to the exit? I am standing in a corner of the room. All of a sudden, I did, like a cartoon bubble, like a speech bubble, like Professor Nimbus, hero of an old comic book. An idea comes to me, forcefully above my head, a book. A book that I read a long time ago that evokes my research. I get it, I read it, and I read the part that interests me. Very surprising. The first quick reading shows that it was not mistaken. The resemblance is striking with what I discovered. Later, I will take it up again very carefully. More than just a coincidence, I would realize that this book contains the plan, the blueprints of the structure I am trying to put together. But the understanding is not at all obvious. The plane is hidden and crypted. I would understand then that I need a decryption key. And I have already discovered it. 
It is this music, light, electronics relationship that I found in 1981. Its consequence was to generate images and colors with centered and rigorous positions, which I found in a much more pictorial form and an ancient language in this book. It was amazing, huge, especially since this book was written long before digital was discovered, long before electronics, long before electricity. It is proof that the prediction is realized and that it could only be re realized in our time. Moreover, during the 30 years that I have been searching so far, technological advances, such as the appearance of light diodes LEDs, have allowed me to specify certain points as they arrive on the market. Their improvement and my understanding of this text, which I obviously followed, given its importance. It is as if there is a coincidence, a simultaneity, a synchronism between my research and the progress of civilization. It is very difficult to understand and sort out what I use for this achievement in this book. For more than 20 years, I have not stopped looking at this text to try to interpret it better. I was helped by many versions and also misplaced by others. I had misinterpreted them. But most of the key elements, including our songs described therein, were found long before I began this reading. By finally discovering the common thread that I was hoping the chalk was strong, but because of what happened to me in the last eight or nine years, I was prepared and was not too surprised. This book was written almost 2,000 years ago. It is the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation. One can understand my amazement because of my rejection of churches, and at the same time, the feeling of confirmation of everything that happened to me. I have no other common thread. So why not this one? Especially since this book is very important, no matter what belief. It's an exceptional book. It is amazing that someone could have such a long and detailed vision. Having no other choice, I decided to follow it. We would see what was going to happen. And I saw Apocalypse, a frightening name, entered into the common language as something scary. He even gave the apocalyptic adjective in the sense of a violent destruction at the end of the world. For a long time, I didn't even dare tell my visitors about it outside the small group of dream makers. Even now, I only approach this subject with a great car. The majority of people simply peddle this destructive meaning without ever having read the text. So who have read it generally frown over it, returning only what struck them without trying to deepen what they were reading. A lot of misunderstandings came out. It's a very difficult text to understand. It's very mysterious and very difficult to read. Because of my research, I have been led to read, reread, reread over and over again for more than 20 years. It is really not easy to grasp, even with the common thread of the work I'm building. Moreover, do we have to understand everything? Is there not some kind of intentional feeling intended to mask the important parts that only hard-working and obstinate researchers can understand when the time comes? In any case, it is certain that there are several levels of understanding and several senses simultaneously nested within each other. I focus mainly on the parts allowing me to build the structure of the extasium. On the other hand, to delve deeply into the meaning, I have read various translations. 
there are very few significant differences between them. One of them particularly caught my intention was Elitorakis. Its particularity is to add numerous comments on the translation, on the importance to be given the teeth of that concept, on the ancient meaning, on the measures, etc. His work has been very helpful to me. In particular, he points out something that most of the many interpreters seem to forget. Never take to the letter the descriptions contained in Revelation. As in all the reasons, instead of reading, this is how it is. You have to understand. This is something that makes me think about this, or that reminds me of this. It's always an approximation. With the experience of the many visions I have had, I can only agree. And finally, Apocalypse, a word of Greek origin, has no negative meaning at all. It means revelation.